stands for Water Intercepted and Conserved. Uh, this was one of our first installations. Uh, this is basically a sheep handling facility. The water comes off the roof and is instantly filtered, uh, instead of with other systems where the water flows down, namely downspout, uh, carrying all debris and, and along with the water and then trying to remove it at that stage. So what we actually do is the water enters canned inlet tanks, which is generally sediment tanks. That natural process takes place that any debris that has come off the roof Natural density, it sinks to the bottom of the first wash tanks. When the first wash tanks reach 50% capacity, they start to come through the filtering system. And generally it's, uh, uh, 150 to 160 micron salt filters filled of whatever type of material you so wish to put on them. Namely, quartz, uh, carbonated charcoal, anything you actually want to, to put on them to whatever quality of water you want. Then the water travels through into the finished system and this water continuously moves. So when you actually turn on the tap or your cattle or your sheep start to drink, the water physically moves. That is a big difference with our system. You get physical movements throughout the whole system. And obviously one of the big things in relation to bacteria buildup and obviously health risks is stagnant water. So the system, as I say, remains oxygenated both by you using the system and obviously by its collection method. Because when, if you aren't using the system and the system is full to capacity and you get one shower of rain, it will automatically take that new water and pass it right through the system and will pass out through the overflow system. That can go to whatever type of a storage facility that you want, depending on what the catchment of your building is. So for a farmer, he can put in the filtering system plus a small amount of elevator to suit his budget and needs. Then as he sees the system in it working and working without the need of power, without the need of pumps, without having to be agitated by any type of mechanical device, he will see that this system is worth having in this farm. And obviously it means that he is in total control of his own water system. Namely, he knows where the water is coming from, he knows the quality of the water, and obviously it should uh, improve his animal health. And hopefully down the line where it could be said that these animals drink unchemicalized, uncontaminated water. So with this here, what we are doing is making sure that you know the quality of water that your animals are drinking. And subsequently, it's in your own control. Uh, as I said, when the system is full, it will flow to whatever type of facility you so wish. Uh, namely, you work out the, the storage facility to suit what your catchment is, namely your roof and the part of the country that you live in. So this water has now been filtered, uh, initially filtered. So the system can be used in two ways. It can be extended on an elevated, an elevated format, which renders that you never need to use pumps. The system works away without any type of device to help it. But if you want to retain a small elevated system, you can work it in two ways where you actually pump back up from your ground source or underground source system back to your elevated system, which will give you whatever volume you need to, to service a day's need, two days need, whatever your budget can provide. And for uh, this, uh, this system has, has given water to washing machines and to the house as well, what are the advantages of using water uh, from this system as opposed to the water from the mains in this area? Right. They... they the main thing in this, uh, in this installation was the quality of water that has been obtained from the mains. It was very hard. Uh, in their property, they had to put a reverse osmosis system, which cost big money, and they are servicing it with salt uh, to, to, to soften the water. And obviously, their washing machines, dishwashers, were getting destroyed. So, in this case, what we have done is we've serviced the family, or the farm, the uh, and obviously 
to do uh, the washing machines and other implements that would actually be destroyed with uh, the hard water that actually was happening. So this installation has been in since early 2013 and I think uh, the owner would verify that in that time they've never had to have one of their washing machines looked at. And uh, obviously this is, this is another big benefit where uh, wells and where you could have wells that are high in man manganese and, and iron, this is not a problem because what we are actually doing is cl collecting the water as it falls out of the sky, filtering how it used to ha na naturally happen in our ground, storing it before any of the additives of our, of our uh, lime scale and our manganese and our iron. So obviously this water does not, there's no staining in the building. Uh, when the washed down farm equipment, they find that it's, uh, that it washed down actually better mm. than, than what mains water. And you've had this water tested, independently tested, have you? This water has been independently tested on numerous occasions. The first time it was tested was back in two, March of 2000 and, uh, 2012, uh, of a system that was installed in October 2011. And who was that independently the, tested? The independent testers with the HSE, the environmental section. Mm. Uh, and uh, obviously I was shown at that time that this water remained totally oxygenated and was of portable quality, mm. namely human drinking quality. And uh, the system can't only just be used in farms, it can be used in... We at this point uh, have used most of our systems has been for, for personal use, for high class drinking water. Uh, and obviously, as people in our country know, we have a situation where a lot of people are buying bottled water that is creating a big environmental problem with disposing of these plastics. And obviously, in a lot of cases, this bottled water that people are buying is no better than what's coming out through their taps. Mm -hmm. So with this water, uh, they know exactly, they are in total control of the quality of their own drinking water. And I think it's one of the major resources. We can live without electric, electric. we can live without our mobile phones. If we don't have water for three days, we don't exist.